Adding and subtracting radicals. When adding or subtracting radicals, you do not add or subtract the radicands or the insides. So the square root of 4 plus 9 is the square root of 13. It's not the square root of 4 plus the square root of 9. This would be 2, this would be 3. So the square root of 13 is not equal to 5. To add and subtract radicals, they must be like terms. Radicals are like terms if they have the same radicands and the same indices. So like terms would be the square root of 2 and the square root of 2, the square root of 5 and 6 times the square root of 5. So you could add these together and that would be 7. If you added these together, that would be 7 square roots of 5. And here we have the cube root of 7 and the cube root of 7. So if we added these together, this would be 1 cube root of 7 plus 4 cube roots of 7, giving us 5 cube roots of 7. These are unlike terms. The square root of 5 and the square root of 3 cannot be added. The square root of 2 and 2, or the square root of 10 and the cube root of 10. An index, plural indices, indicates what root you are taking. Just like square roots undo squares, cube roots undo cubes, fourth roots undo powers of four, fifth roots undo powers of five, etc. This concept will be studied more in depth later in the unit. So the square root of two squared, this will cancel with this, leaving us with two. For the cube root of two to the third power, the cube root cancels out with the third power, leaving us with two. The fourth root of 2 to the fourth, well, those will cancel and leave us with 2. And the fifth root of 2 to the fifth power, those will cancel as well, leaving us with 2.